channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, so I decided to do this look. Honestly, this is the third time I filmed this look, not gonna lie. I like how the makeup um, ended up the first two times. So I decided to just film it again and do something that's realistic for me. Like, I would go really glam if I, you know, was able to achieve getting a Valentine's Day date. Um, but yeah, you know, this year I'm not doing anything and I'm okay with that for once. But I figured, you know what, just because I'm not doing anything doesn't mean that other people are out there aren't doing anything. So let me just do a look what, uh, to show people what I would do. So maybe if they need inspiration or ideas. So yeah, just, um, so yeah, just stay tuned to the video and you will see how I did this look. Okay, okay so, so I decided, decided to skip my foundation and my eyebrows today because I just figured, you know what, it's going to just take up too much time when I'm filming. So I decided to just get to the point. So I'm adding a base color on top of my lid so everything can blend better. I'm just using one from the Modern Renaissance palette. You can use any color that's like close to your skin color. Um, so yeah, just put it all over so you can set whatever primer or concealer you put on. Next, I'm going to be using this light brown color. Again, from the same palette, you can use any color. Um, it doesn't have to be a strong brown, just anything that really helps gives you a transition color. So when you put some darker colors after that, it blends and it doesn't get all patchy or just all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to be getting the lighter color from my Carly Bible palette, which you can get on BH Cosmetics. I'm going to be just adding that onto my crease. Just put that all over it. And we're going to be adding more and more throughout, and that's my dog, okay? Um, yeah, just keep adding it into your crease. So then I'm going to kind of just put it a little bit below my crease on the edges, just so it can kind of create this kind of shadow effect. A little bit more depth just instead of just being in your creases you don't really have to do this with this look because I am gonna add like a sparkly color on top of it afterwards but I just always tend to do this when I do my eyeshadow okay so I completely forgot to add that um, clip in but I'm gonna just use that darker color that was right beside the lighter purple um, so we're gonna just adding it in not that much because we don't want it to be too dark and you're gonna be just adding it on top and you're gonna see how easy it blends instead of just going straight with a darker purple 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 <laughs> so now I'm gonna be using a flat fluffy brush and I'm gonna go straight underneath my eyes I normally do the under eyes um, last but this time I was like you know what I'm gonna be using the same dark purple might as well do it now just so it can blend all together so now I'm going to be using this dark brown from the Modern Renaissance palette. You don't have to use this palette all the time. Like I just tend to like the color. I like the those colors anyways. But you can use any brown. So I'm going to be just adding it at the end of my eyes. I just want to add a little bit more depth, or you know, just make it look a little bit darker on the edges. Now we're going back to that light purple. And I'm going to get a smaller, tiny little brush, and I'm just adding it underneath the dark purple that we added already. Just so it can like blend a little bit easier and not look so harsh, like a, just a harsh line underneath. And once you're at that, we're going to be using a glitter primer. You can use any um, eyeshadow primer. You can even use a little concealer, but I really like this glitter primer from NYX. I feel like it just stays really, really tacky and it kind of just gives it an effect. So basically I'm using this to make the eyeshadow that I'm about to use really pop. Like you can use a Fix Plus, you can really use anything, you can put glitter yourself, but you know, I decided to do something different this time. So as you can see, it really makes that eyeshadow pop. By the way, this is kind of like the rose gold pinky color from the Carly Bible palette. It's this palette still available on Beach Cosmetics. It's like $15. I think it's really worth it if you like mauve colors and it look, they blend really nicely. So I'm going to be using this like flat brush to really carve out the crease. Um, we're kind of doing a mini cut crease kind of look. So yeah, and I'm just, like I said, like before, that you don't have to put the dark shadows um, on the edges of your eyes because you do kind of cover it up. But I feel like regardless, it still kind of pops, shows through the color because you kind of give it that little depth through it. So now we're going to be get this like fluffy brush. I'm going to be using this purpley color, sparkly color from my Vice 3 palettes from Urban Decay. Um, I'm going to be putting in sparkles at the edges um, after I added all my matte colors because I feel like if you go with sparkles, it doesn't really give you the effect that you want in the beginning. But this sparkle is like, still gives me that nice um, 
glittery look, but it also gives me a little bit of depth without just looking too flat. So I'm going to be just going back with the sparkly. I didn't add that much shadow on top of it. If anything, I just used what was left on the brush just to fix it up, blend it out a little bit. That's basically what eyeshadow is. You just go back and forth doing the same thing. So now I got a clean brush, crease brush, and I'm going to just blend out those edges. I don't want it to be too harsh. So that's what you can, you can do after. So now I'm using like a beige matte color with a little bit of a sparkle and I'm going to be just putting that underneath my eyebrow just to pop a little bit of highlight on those brow bones. So everything's done other than my eyelashes and eyeliner which I'm going to do off camera. So I'm back and I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs um, eyeliner. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. I'll have it in the description below. I just got it as a sample. Um, I think or like a rewards thing with my Sephora I can't remember but I really really like it because I have really watery eyes um, so that one tends to stay longer so I just put it at the edges of my eyes and now I'm gonna go back with my glitter primer glitter glue whatever it is and I'm putting it inside my inner corners and I'm gonna be using my Inglot pigment and as you can see it's a very glittery and very pretty and I'm going to be putting that on top of the glitter primer glue that I just added. Um, it looked way brighter on off camera, I'm not going to lie. And mascara was looking a little flat, so I kind of just curled them a little bit more. So yeah, now we're going to go to bronzer. I'm going to be using this highlighter color from the Carly Bible palette. I kind of use this bronzer because um, it's still really, really dark as you can see. Um, I really like it for that overall glow effect. So I'm going to be just putting it all over my face. Trying to make myself look a little bit more tanned, just a little bit. Then I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Contour Palette. This is like my favorite contour, like honestly. It's just warm enough to make it look better on my skin than like grayish. And it really does work. I really like it. For five bucks, why not? It's worth it. So yeah, you just put that in your hollows of your cheeks. Then you put it all over your forehead. You know, you don't have a big forehead. <laughs> And, you know, just put it all over the places that you bronzed. Now we're going to be using my glow kit from Anastasia. And I'm going to be putting the bottom two. I really like these colors. Instead of gold, they kind of come off a little bit more silvery on me. But that's fine because I feel like it goes with that pink purple look that I was using. Going with kind of for this. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, after you highlight every single part of your face, um... What you're gonna do is, you know, once you finish highlighting your nose, you're gonna be spraying, um, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray just to set all the powders, and then I'm gonna be using a little bit more highlight on top of the wet parts because it just makes it look a little bit more glowy. Or you can just put Fix Plus on your brush and do this, but you know, I'm high maintenance, and so you gotta add a little bit more steps to your routine. And I'm gonna be using the City Color um, Blush Squad. I'm using that pink color. It's hella pigmented, so you kind of have to be careful. As you can see, I'm like barely touching my face. Yeah, it just gives you a really pretty rosy flush to the face. So yeah, once you look nice and blushed, you are ready to go for lips. I'm using the MAC World Lip Liner as usual, that's literally the only lip liner I use. You know, you just line your lips and you know, you don't have to overdraw them, you can if you want. I don't do that, I just try to line them up. I usually use liquid lipsticks to kind of make them look bigger if I want. And I'm going to be using my favorite, favorite lipstick ever, my MAC Selena Collection Lipstick. Um, it's such it's such a me color like honestly this color is literally me everything about it is me It's so creamy and satiny which is perfect because I had really dry lips that day So and I don't go for liquid lipsticks. I kind of go for a creamy lipstick on top And once you finish that part of the face you are basically done and you are ready to go on your dates